In preparation for reviewing Fire in the Sky, I ran across this website talking about how to ward off alien abductions. I mean, people using crystals, and there's one this one story about a guy who covered his entire house in aluminum foil. I mean, you know, hey, you, you do you, but uh, what, what, what's, what's, go, what's going on with my... Fire in the Sky tells the story of the strange events in the small town of Snowflake, Arizona in 1975. When Travis Walton and his colleagues drive home after work, they encounter a flying saucer. Travis is struck by a beam of light from the object, and for the next five days, he disappears without a trace, and his colleagues are accused of murder. The movie stars D.B. Sweeney, Robert Patrick, Craig Sheffer, Henry Thomas, and James Garner. This movie came out in 1993, and it was just something that I never, I never watched. I never watched the movie, but, uh, but yeah, recently on a trip back from California, Billy from the Game Chasers was driving, and we actually drove past the the phone booth that Travis Walton allegedly called Mike, the character of Mike. I get, I, I'm assuming that's a real person, but called Mike after his uh, his return from the aliens, and uh, so that was. Kind of neat, and then, uh, and then also we stopped at a place that sold alien memorabilia, including Travis Walton's own book. Uh, you know his account of what happened. Oh my God, what was that? You know, for the most part, the acting is fine. Uh, Robert Patrick as Mike probably has the most screen time of anybody in the movie, and uh, and he actually does a pretty good job with it. As does uh, James Garner, the the detective that's kind of looking into the case. And interestingly, uh, the director of photography for this movie was Bill Pope, who went on to make a little movie a few years later called The Matrix. You know, the, I think the, where this movie really falters, though, is the the execution of the story, because the thing is, I mean, it's it's focusing on the people that remained. And, you know, I mean, while that that is kind of interesting, what what's really kind of bothersome about it is that once Travis, you know, actually comes back, there's no resolution to that story at all, and that's just kind of a bummer with, with all of this setup. You remember those shows on TV where they would show a clip of something, and it'd be like, oh wow, that looks really interesting, and I can't wait to see that, and, and then you have to wait till the, end of the, uh, till the end of the show to see it, and it's like they, they show little clips of it right before a commercial, and they come back from the commercial, and it's, they still haven't shown it. And then you have to wait all the way until the end to actually see the thing that you were kind of here to see in the first place. That's kind of how this whole movie plays out. Now, when they finally do get around to showing some of the abduction, it's suitably terrifying. I mean, there are some amazing looking shots in here that are just like, they're, they're freaky. But Travis Walton, after the movie came out, said, said, yeah, that was nothing like what happened. And apparently the screenwriter for Fire in the Sky had to make changes because the studio executives found Walton's account boring. So yeah, it's it's kind of hard for me to recommend the movie. I mean, I'd probably give it like two and a half out of four stars. I mean, look, I mean, that's just the way that's the way I look at it. You know, it's uh, it's it's not a bad movie. It's just, you know, we're, we're all here to see the alien abduction stuff. Right. That's what we're here for. So all of this other stuff was a little weird. So. I don't know. Um, I'd probably give it what, like two and a half out of four stars. Yeah, that's probably what I'd give it. So look, let me let me ask you: Have you seen Fire in the Sky? What did you think of it? You know, I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was okay. You know, not bad, but yeah, I'm kind of curious what everybody else thinks about it. So leave those comments down below, and we'll talk about it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.